Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. So the patch notes just dropped for the fourth and if they follow previous iterations of the PTR, the final round of the PTR cycle. So let's get into them and see what's being changed or fixed. So they enabled the mutated version of the Tempest Heart Expedition. They are asking to please leave feedback about this experience, which I also would please urge you to do. This expedition is new, like very new, and untested on live servers. So having it premiere, mutations enabled, is going to be a very risky endeavor. So if you experience issues, please tell them, because the last thing we need is another broken shit show. They also remind players that mutators change the normal and named NPCs within the expedition, which will be interesting this time, because Tempest is just riddled with named 66 elites, so this one will be interesting. They also, thank god, have updated our PTR backstories, giving us 600 gear score base gear. You will have to create a new character though, but I was wondering how on earth we would even test mutators in our 585 garbage. They also have added in bespoke gear to the loot table, so I will definitely be getting on to test this. For the blunderbuss, they have fixed a number of bugs surrounding abilities and perks that were not working properly. They also took player feedback and did a bounce pass on it. They reduced the base damage of the blunderbuss from 80 to 75. They reduced the mortar charge damage from 126 to 100. They removed the bonus damage from streak upgrade. Streak only now gives an extra shot. They fixed an issue where crits were not properly increasing damage when triggered. Blast shot penetration upgrade. Reduced the Ren bonus from 20 to 10%. For the Containment Unload Ultimate, they removed the ability for the Ultimate to stack to 2. Now it will only allow for one shot of 9 pellets per ability use. This is nice to see, so it doesn't go live unbalanced like the Void Gauntlet did. Although I am sure there are a few people out there who won't be happy to see that it's already getting nerfed in the PTR. The last Augment Legendary Quest has had its reward improved providing a weapon with a correct gear score that matches other legendary weapons. This was definitely needed, and I'm very happy to see this. As you saw if you watched my video doing this quest, a gear score 540 blunderbuss was a feels bad moment when I finished it. They fixed berserking purge on hatchet to correctly purge stun. They also made a few changes to the way swords and shields work. The shield now applies the attributes to players even while the sword is sheathed. This is pretty awesome. However, this still doesn't change luck as the perks do not remain active, only the attributes. Just wanted to make sure that was cleared up. I'm not really sure why they're not allowing the perks from shields to work while well, they're sheathed, but anyway, they, are, they still aren't, so. Reduce the occurrences of combat-related stuttering and unresponsiveness when mixing light and heavy attacks. I'm really glad to see that's getting fixed. They did some quest fixes to things that were not giving the proper credit when you killed them. Fixed an issue where your coin was failing to update when you purchased something from the market, so it would appear that you had more coin than you did, even though you actually didn't and couldn't spend it, so it wasn't actually duping the coin, it was just annoyingly incorrectly displaying it. They fixed that bug where you would have to replace all of your chests whenever you re-logged, because for some reason it wasn't seeing the weight bonus they gave. So every time you logged in, it would show your base weight again of 26.25 on your settlement storage, and then you would have to replace all of your chests to get it back up to 6,000 plus. It was a huge headache, so I'm really glad to see that's fixed. They fixed an issue that was causing some items to drop with an incorrect gear score over 600. I personally saw this with a rapier from Isabella and Tempest. I was wondering if it was a bug or if it was intended because it was so new, but it would drop at 607. So yeah, overall a lot of fixes. So this patch is looking good. I had hoped to see a bit of a nerf to raffle bones, but not a big deal. Overall, I think this one might actually turn out well. Just be sure guys to please get on the PTR and test the mutated version of Tempest. The last thing we want is a broken mess. Okay guys, that's it for the PTR Update 4. The nice thing about this being PTR Update 4 is that probably it will release onto the live servers in the next week. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.